I'm a very delusional girl. If I believe it to be so, and I put the work in to achieve it, there is, it's literally gonna happen. It's just all about divine timing. What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Denise if you're new and this is my curly life. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've actually like vlogs but your girl's birthday is tomorrow and if you follow me on any of my other social media platforms TikTok, Instagram, Facebook then you guys know I have been killing the sponsorships. I have been killing the sponsorships lately like sponsorships gifting opportunities like just really making connections with brands big brands small brands new brands just making connections with brands and really getting my brand my brand out there in front of more people so i'm super thankful super grateful for it because a year ago when i was recording content i wasn't really getting nothing so this is a stride this is a this is a stride this is a, a a career milestone for me like i don't know if you guys seen my last vlog fenty hair sent me products and i feel like that was so needed for me because if you guys have been following me you guys know i get into my head a lot anybody i feel like anybody who is chasing their dreams especially coming from a small town like i come from anybody that's stepping outside of the norm and doing something completely blinded and just learning as you go it's going to be terrifying and some days my mind gets the best of me like some days i let the devil win because that's all it is the negative talk is the devil and i let it win sometimes but getting that fancy hair package that really was like a girl you're doing a good job like out of all the content creators in the world everybody didn't get a pr package some of them some of them got flued out now when i start getting flued out that's gonna be a whole nother a whole nother milestone right there but some people got flew out and some people got that beautiful pr package and i just happen to be one of those people and that right there mom what go put your shoes on so we can get ready to go but I can't find it. you better go find it shut my door and hurry up yeah but yes getting that pr package was definitely an eye opener for me it's like I have days where I show up for myself and I can create 15 short form videos. I put down all these ideas of long form videos that I want to do and I act on it. I can edit video. Like I have days where I'm extremely like, okay, it's time to get on my Zoom. It's time to get on my Zoom. And then there's days where I just literally cannot even muster up the energy to even think of an idea. And I mean, I, I believe at this point, I feel like it's a balance. I have days where I give myself grace and then on the days where I feel like I got to work, baby, that's, that's what I gotta do. Oh, it's so freaking hot, Jesus. <sighs> Look, I done sweated it out on the sides. I'm getting ready to get myself together and go and get my nails done. I was gonna rock what's on my hands, but I was cleaning up and one of the nails went down the freaking drain. And yeah, so I'm gonna get myself together here. Oh, this is sweated out. I'm about to just put this in the ponytail to put it on. I just don't have the energy and it's too freaking hot. I found the street of a house in which she said. I'm a diary's full of the name on every page. Cause I'm ready to my life. I'll try, try, try. Yeah. Try. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite eyebrow artist's daughter. I remember her when she was little. Making me feel old. Okay, 
what's up y'all it's the next day clearly so um yesterday i clearly didn't get my nails done we just i'm really good i'm really not good i don't know why i said good what is this on my camera i'm really not good with like time management because i was thinking i was gonna have time to get my nails and my feet done and then be able to go to the mall to get that perfume number one it was packed in that salon and when we got there it was already five the mall closed at like eight o'clock so i didn't have time i got my feet done don't really care for them like the paint job really is not giving but i got my feet done eyebrows done then we went to the mall i got boob tape and the reason that i went to the mall was because i was trying to get that perfume the joe malone perfume but obviously well i didn't know that but it was a um, limited edition like a seasonal thing around easter time and they didn't have it in stores so i would have had to order it, order it online but i didn't have time for that because i wanted to smell like that today so literally yesterday all i did was get my feet eyebrows and boob tape that was it and then um, we went home and some of my friends came over and to bring my birthday in. And we was just chilling. It was a, a chill vibe. Why did everybody spend the night? I said, not nah, I wait till 31 to have a slumber party. <laughs> it was so unplanned, but we had fun. It was nice bringing my birthday in with them. We had a couple drinks, listened to some music, like the 90s vibe. It was fun. But so today is my birthday. It is my 31st and i am at walmart right now um i dropped dj off because he trains he do his uh workout trainings on friday so i dropped him off and then there's a walmart where he trains at so i'm getting ready to go in here i'm gonna try to find me some press on nails i need like a wax stick or something because my hair this natural hair cannot stand the humidity i don't know what i was thinking but it's not doing good and I gotta do uh, these. I have a collaboration, a TikTok collaboration with Love Me Hair. I'm probably gonna post a, t a full YouTube video on that as well. But I have to do that video today. And the clippings is bomb. Like the quality is bomb. So I'll link them down below. I'm gonna show them to y'all whenever I get home. So yeah, I need press on nails. I need a wax stick. And um, it's a certain type of way that I wanna like make my outfit pop because it's super plain like the shirt is super sexy i think i showed it to y'all yesterday it's super sexy and i think i'm going to wear um i ordered capris a black pair of capris and i also ordered a black maxi skirt but i kind of want to wear the capris with like a chunky heel and then do y'all remember when rihanna wore that fire ass like crystal head wrap I want to wear something like that. Like, I want to really make the outfit pop. So, I am very much a DIY girly. So, um, I don't think Walmart would have that material in here. So, after we leave here, um, I'm probably going to go to Robinson because I still got to buy me some shoes. I'm going to get my shoes and then I'm going to go to Michael's, the craft store, because they have a bunch of different fabrics. And I'm going to see if they have that fabric and I'm going to make, like... A head wrap like the crystal head wrap hopefully like my fingers are crossed so tight i'm praying that they have it because i just feel like it's that's really going to give birthday so we get ready to run into walmart and let's get this day started y'all i think i'm gonna just get these ones this body wash right here tea it smells so bomb it has been an extremely hectic day time is just a cricket so i just got out of the shower different background i'm at my sister's house right now um i'm trying to hurry up and i have to do a clip-in video for love me here if you guys are not following me on my other social medias i highly highly recommend because like i told you guys that is where i have the most your life it's a lot going on i was gonna, i had to cancel my makeup appointment 
because there was just literally physically no way that I was going to be able to be in Pittsburgh on a Friday in five o'clock traffic and make it to a six o'clock appointment. I did not think that through when I booked it. And I'm kind of sad about that because it's my birthday and I want makeup on my face. But I have some really good news. I signed a contract to be a Dove partner for six months. That is crazy. <laughs> Like, that is crazy. I said it on Facebook. If you follow me on Facebook, I swear, my life and then, like, my reaction to things, y'all probably be like, she's so nonchalant. But I really just be so speechless. Like, if you know my past, you know my background, you know who I was before, it's taken a lot of character development for me to be the person that I am sitting before you, to be this person that's very goal driven and really serious about accomplishing my goals and just making my dreams come true so when stuff actually like that I manifested years ago wrote down in journals and things like that start to come to pass it shocks me not shocks me because I'm a very delusional girl if I believe it to be so and I put the work in to achieve it there is it's literally going to happen it's just all about divine timing so when the emails start coming in for collect this dove partnership is freaking huge this is the biggest i've ever had but the dove partnership is like girl you you is making some strides baby it's just all in divine timing everything shall come to pass but I'm getting ready to go see how much percentage is on my content phone and I have to get these clippings put in and at least take the flat iron through it and so that my hair is done and I just have to throw my clothes on. I don't know why I look like this. It looks super duper dark but literally just that quick the power went out. I have not installed one clip in. The storage in my phone is full so I cannot film content for this company and it is 640 del frescos is about 40 minutes away from here so we should probably be pulling up in front of there at like around 7 30 that's not happening that's not happening so i don't know what to do i don't know what to do my outfit is extremely dressy so it's like where am i getting ready to go sit down and have dinner on a friday without reservation i'm stressed y'all i'm trying to be so positive i have been trying to be positive this whole week but it's it's, it's hard especially right now i feel like someone put some juju on my day because it's just too much Um, yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm probably getting ready to have to go to my mom's house and get dressed. Because it's hot as fuck at my mom's, at my house. It's still kind of cool in here, but it, eventually it's going to get hot as fuck. So, I have to gather up all the stuff that we shaggled over here and shaggle it over to my mom's house and figure it out so yeah i look so crazy i know but <laughs> it's just so much going on and when i tell y'all every time that the power goes out my sister's power never goes out her whole entire apartment building is black so like what's the odds what is the odds but <sighs> I'm not going to be negative. I'm not going to let the devil win the day. Um, like I told y'all, we getting ready to go to my mom's house and finish getting dressed. And um, we had to cancel the reservations at Dale Fresco's. This is the second birthday in a year that I haven't been able to get to in the tartar. But that's okay. 
I feel like I'm the type of person everything happens for a reason. I'm a little bit irritated because that's really what I wanted. But everything happens for a reason, so it's okay. I look so crazy, like the roof is lifting. It's, I, I still have probably like an hour worth of getting ready to do. So, um, like I said, I feel like everything happened for a reason. So we switched the reservations to go to um, Social House. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you guys know I went there last year for my birthday. If you're new, go watch my 30th birthday vlog. It was very nice. I really was very particular when it came to editing that vlog. That's one of my favorite vlogs. But um, the food was really good. Um, the vibes was there. So, And they don't close until 2 a.m. So that lets me like that. Um, what is it? Is it anxiety? The anxiety of being late or not being on time subsides because now I have time. I can take my time and get ready. I'm still not probably probably not gonna do my makeup because I'm hungry. I was like, I have not really eaten all day because I was saving myself for Del Fresco's. But it's getting ready to be seven now. So we're probably not leaving until probably like around 8.30ish, maybe. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready to finish go getting ourselves together. I have to charge my content phone up so that I can film this video for this company. Like this is really the behind the scenes of content creation. I have to work, that's my work. I have to film this content for this company. Even though my day is completely hectic, I still have to do what I love, which, and I love it. I'm just not having the bestest, greatest day right now, which that's okay. We're gonna turn that all around. I just have to have a positive mentality about it. I'm not gonna let the devil steal my joy. So yeah, it's gonna, it's going to be a good day. I'm gonna go finish getting ready and I will see you guys once I'm done. Maybe, hopefully I can set you guys up so I could do like let you guys see some type of action so get y'all some clip-ins for this summer i'm telling you they're going to come in handy especially these ones they lay so flat undetectable baby love me seamless clip-ins are the go-to this summer i have two bundles of 22 virgin body wave the seamless tracks are t they lay so flat you'll see once the install is done you can't tell me that this hair is not growing clean out of my scalp the clip-ins are secure and pain-free each track is thick from the top to the bottom and it was very easy for me to press out and the hair kept its shine and luster. It only took me about 20 minutes to put the clip-ins in and style them. The quality of these bundles, I mean, literally just look at it. And this is the final look. Get y'all some clip-ins for this summer. I'm telling you, they're gonna come in handy, especially these ones. They lay so flat, undetectable. You can get whatever look you're going for in less than the time that it takes to do a sew-in. These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't put no coffin out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for threats. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. BOT, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say, it's a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, oh. We finally made it, y'all. It's damn near 11 o'clock at night. It's like, no, no kidding. It's time for you to pull the heels and call them. Niggas clicking up, but it cannot be legit. No 40 water, tell them. Yeah, yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak dissing. First place to shoot. I hope they came with three switches. I'd crash out like fuck rap. This many mill if I had to. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre D. K. Good morning guys it's the next day i gotta tell y'all about my night well first of all i'm i'm holding the phone kind of work because my um car mount it held it down for two years but she's tired she's tired i need to get another one hold on let me see if i can maybe pull the wheel down and talk to y'all oh that's Ugh. Okay, this is gonna have to work for right now. So, <clears throat> um, last night.
it was fun. I enjoyed my birthday with my girls. We went to Saigon. Um, I really didn't get a lot of footage in there because I, I ate there last year for my birthday, so I didn't think you guys really wanted me to do the whole like montage B-roll thing. I mean, I probably still could have because I have uh, more subscribers than I did last year on my birthday, so I probably could have just went ahead and did it again. So we had dinner. I love Saigon. The food was fire. I got the um, tuna nigiri, tuna nigiri, and that's with like the fresh fish, or uh, yeah, the fresh fish, and then rice, and it was so bomb. It was like spicy um, tuna. Oh, it was so good. And I put like eel sauce on top of there with the wasabi and the um, soy sauce. <sighs> That shit was fire. And then I got, um, what was this? Robata shrimp and rice with the um, bok, bok choy. <laughs> the bok choy. It's like a cabbage, a type of cabbage. It was good. The lychee martinis was even better than I remember. Like, I know the lychee martinis was good, but them things was fire. The food was good. After we was done eating, we went to um, the strip, like where, not the strip, but it's a strip in Pittsburgh where all the like clubs and stuff is at. Baby, do you know, I already told y'all Mother Nature, first of all, Mother Nature <clears throat> had showed up. Baby, she showed out. I went in that bathroom in the club and first of all, I'm not the type of person that even likes to be in the public on my menstrual period, on my menstrual cycle. I just don't think it's that serious. Then the cramp started kicking in. I don't know if y'all see my shoes. I don't know if I showed y'all my shoes, but they like the, the they like Barbie doll shoes like the thick chunky platform i love the look but them suckers hurt them things was killing my feet i was cramping it just was not a day for any girl to be out in public you are very much on your couch with your snacks balled the hell up like i'll probably be today overall it was a good day minus all the mishaps because <laughs> yesterday was crazy Yesterday was crazy. I didn't end up getting done, getting dressed until damn near nine o'clock. Took all that time getting ready. Didn't get no cute pictures. I hate all my pictures, hate them all. And yeah, <laughs> but other than that, it was a pretty decent day. So um, now it's Saturday. I'm getting ready to go. Let me see if I can put y'all on here now. Oh damn, it ain't even sticking no more. And then I came home, I took the longest, hottest shower. And I li I didn't even try to do, like, keep my hair flat. I put it in the bun like this, and then I wrapped it <laughs> around and put my bonnet on. Because I was just so over the day, like, so over it. I want to go grab me a matcha because they say matchas help with menstrual cramps. And I always brag about, like, how when I first started my cycle when i was nine years old i had the worst cramps like i would oh damn it's it's bright out here i had the worst cramps like i would literally be crying like to my mom like i wish i was a boy <laughs> because who want to experience that at nine years old but i used to have the worst cramps and then once i had my son and i had my first c-section I would just, you know, have a regular monthly with no cramps. And it will only last for like a couple of days. It was really nice. Then I had my daughter and it was kind of similar, but I start getting like semi cramps again. Baby 31 showed up and show out. She showed up and show out.